Welcome to Matters Financial and Geopolitical from a Frontier. I trust you had a great weekend. It's been rather cold again here in Nairobi. We've hardly had any summer whatsoever. Home thoughts, Jorge Louis Borges. Poetry springs from something deeper. It's beyond intelligence. And some of my favorite quotes of his, the mind was dreaming, the world was its dream. The greatest of sorcerers would be the one who could cast a spell on himself to the degree of taking his own phantasmagoria for autonomous apparitions. Might that not be our case? And then from the book Labyrinths, then Bure Cesares recalled that one of the heresiarchs of Ukba had declared that mirrors and copulation are abominable because they increase the number of men. I asked him the origin of this memorable observation. For one of those Gnostics, the visible universe was an illusion, or more precisely a sophism. Mirrors and fatherhood are abominable because they multiply and disseminate that universe. I told him in all truthfulness that I should like to see that article. I like this from Karl Marx, the West is binary but the East is biryani. This is Uhuru Peak on Mount Kilimanjaro this morning. Pack your crampons and ice axes team. Both Kilimanjaro and Mount Kenya have had a lot of snow because of all this rain that we've had down here. Transport the soul by, grad gold, by Brad Goldpaint, overall winner, people in space. Um, this is uh, interested in adding a human element to his photographs. Once the quarter moon rose and revealed the incredible vast landscape of the Shale Hills. Below the viewpoint, the lone photographer to the left of the frame stood motionless while he captured this photograph. The Andromeda Galaxy, Quarter Moon, Milky Way Galaxy and position of the photographer all combined to create a captivating, harmonious portrait of a night sky photographer at work. And of course that took me back to Rumi. We come spinning out of nothingness, scattering stars like dust. And I like this photograph as well, speeding on the Aurora Lane by Nicolas Le Photo from France. A hazy, subtle, auroral band is leisurely drifting across the sky, providing an unusual perspective with faint bands appearing to radiate from a vanishing point, like a road disappearing over the horizon. Um, sort of emphasizes what Ruby says. Then go, let's go to Oscar Wilde. We're all in the gutter but some of us are looking at the stars. And then it turns out that we are all made of stars, half our bodies, atoms formed beyond the Milky Way. Nearly half of the atoms that make up our bodies may have formed beyond the Milky Way and traveled to the solar system on intergalactic winds driven by giant exploding stars, astronomers claim. In some sense, we are extragalactic visitors or immigrants in what we think of as our galaxy.